Hello YouTubers, this is Mr. Zen over here with uh, another episode review for Fairy Tale Zero Episode 7, The One Who Teaches Magic. Now this episode was actually very, um, uh, it well, actually continues off from the last episode, like right after um, the, the Treasure Hunters and Mavis uh, confront the, the Mage Guild Blue Skull, which they lost horribly by, which by the way, I was actually very brutal which leaves them in like a in a very very depressing mood right now because uh they were they kind of went in they were hoping that they would win but right now that now that now that they, they faced against an overwhelming opponent they're just utterly destroyed right now just utterly destroyed they f they feel like they didn't accomplish nothing they they feel like they, they feel that like they felt like that this this was a uh, like a, almost like a waste of time, you could say. It's like uh, if I was in their shoes, man, I would have, I would have ran home like a chicken. I swear, man. I, like I'm surprised they actually survived. To be honest, though, man. Like, yeah, like, these these people here, man, they could get like the best luck in the whole world, man. Freaking Prex, he got shot in the eye. War, uh, Warren, he actually carried had to carry the uh, both uh, both uh, uh, Prex and um and Yuri's body uh because they they both got damaged like. Intensely, but because of anime jo uh, logic, these guys are, are are still okay though. Though, just put on some bandages and bam, you know, they're they're ready to go, you know. But the one good thing about this episode is that Zeref, yes, Zeref, Zeref is now actually in the game. Zeref finally shows up. Uh, but for all you fangirls, all you Zeref lovers out there, yes, Zeref actually came out bare uh, bare naked, you could say. To the to to the extremes of what the animators can uh, possibly do, so no crotch shot there, ladies. But uh, legitly though, uh, you literally see in inside this uh, in this episode that uh, uh, Zeref actually uh, met them, and Mavis talks to, talks to uh, uh, Zeref in this episode. You literally see that uh, she uh, she tries to communicate uh, with him, you know, in a, in a calmly manner, and you're like wondering, like you know, like man. I wouldn't do that to any kind of stranger here, you know. You know that's kind of creepy. You know, I'd be like, oh, I'm on my way, you know. I'm out of here. But the one thing I like about the that <laughs> the uh, the anime logic did right there is that uh, Zeref pop pops out the water one swing, and already I'm already fluidly clothed. Man, talk about that, that. That's some like heavy magic right there, man. That kind of magic would literally save you so much trouble in the real world. But Back to the to uh, topic, though. Uh, they they meet Zeref, and uh, in the episode, um, since they're pondering the saying that they need, they need to get stronger, you know, like, like most uh, shonen uh, manga uh, and anime, that they need to train. So Zeref becomes now the master of Mavis. Yes, Mavis's master was actually Zeref, the black magic, I mean black mage Zeref. And man, Zeref was an intense teacher right there. No emotion whatsoever. I'm surprised uh, all three, uh, all three treasure hunters were actually able to learn magic. Cause in the episode, all of them uh, acquire magic in their own way. And I loved how the episode actually uh, showed how they they learned their their magic. You know, uh, Mavis through med uh, through through intense meditation. Uh, uh, Prekt. You know, he he was like a natural born star, as you can see. Like, you know, he's like the A A grade, A quality mage student. You know, top tier kind of guy. You know, this guy was learning uh, magic at increasingly way because when they all 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 three of them were or four of them were all sitting down together to to learn magic and meditate. Uh, Prax had it on the go. He had it on the go. Warred and uh, Yuri had a different way of. Of of doing learning how to use their magic actually, I love Yuri's though. Yuri seems like like a legit uh, DBZ kind of action going on there. You know, like a like a uh, he had a, his 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 way of of uh, meditating and and learning magic was actually like you know like it, it looks like a, a fun way too to be honest. You know, like I agree with Yuri. If if I was in if I was in Yuri's shoes, you know, meditating, like, for hours and hours, and going, without getting an over, you know, just start moving and do something like that would literally get your mind moving. And I love that, how, how that actually went with Yuri. You know, just start, just start working out, you know. Start pumping that, pumping that iron, you know, just going at it, you know, just, 
doing 10,000 squats, 10,000 Oh, wait, my bad. This is, uh, this isn't, uh, this isn't One Punch Man. My bad. <laughs> but, like, legit, uh, Yuri was actually acquired his own magic, and, oh, and each of them, actually, I love how they, they each, uh, w went, uh, the, learned their magic, acquired, went through the personality traits, too, of course, uh, knowing Yuri, he's actually the wild card, uh, y Yuri, actually, uh, was attaining, a uh, lightning magic, just as, like, how he always wanted to fantasize, so he, he wanted explosive magic, just offense, uh, offensive, in-your-face kind of magic, you know, and, you know, to be honest, I can see Yuri, uh, going with, uh, lightning magic, and I love how he actually went along and trained uh, inside, like, not inside a, a waterfall, but, like, alongside a waterfall, giving that, like, uh, himself, like, a, like, a, uh, like, a, like, a, a warrior, you know, like, a, I forgot what they're called, um, uh, like, the, the, the like, um, uh, warrior gods, I forgot the name of it in Japanese, but they're, like, the, like, the warrior gods, like, soul, like Sokun. Like it kinda, his training was kind of similar to Sokun's. There you go. Bam. That's where it was. Uh, did I say Sokun? I'm going to say uh, Black Star. Some fan I am. <laughs> oh, but carry on. Uh, you literally see that, um, you know, uh, after after Yuri, uh, Yuri's training, we go on to uh, Warrid. And Warrid actually... Uh, his was actually more uh, disappointing because, you know, we see him as the strong, muscular kind of man. And yet, you know, Precht and, uh, and Yuri, you know, they're acquiring their magic and also Mavis too, of course. Uh, but they, I, I like how they didn't kind of showcase uh, Mavis's magic. Ma since Mavis's magic was kind of like, you know, like hidden in mystery in this episode, you know. She's like, she, oh, she, uh, she finished her training, of course, don't get me wrong. Which, by the way, I, I don't know if her illusion magic was counted as magic, which kind of... Didn't make a little a little sense right there. Uh, I'm a little confused in this episode because of that. But I'm assuming she learned some other kind of magic, or or she uh, got, uh, got a better grasp of actual magic. I'm assuming that's what the the, the animators and and hero was actually trying to trying to emphasize right there, since her illusion magic was just was just like child's play. But back to Ward, you know, um, uh, he want he wanted offensive magic. You know, he was actually training. Uh, you know, like just like in a physical, in the physical sense kind of way as well. Like here he goes, and he was punching rocks. You know, like he he had the bases and everything down, but just nothing was producing. You know, like if it, it to him it looked like it, like he was he was he was downing out throughout the entire episode. But thanks to Mavis's uh, encouraging words, saying that you know it Ward was actually the one that was encouraging actually Yuri and Preck to go along and gain strength. So because they felt they felt that the um, you know, Ward was uh was doing too much for them, you know, and that's how you know that it symbolizes their friendship again over here, you know, just like a hero likes to symbolize a friendship all all the time over here. Uh, that uh, you know, um, uh, you know, like Nakama power, you know, just uh. Uh, once, uh, once they, uh, Warrior actually uh, figured out that you know, it, it, instead of uh, gaining strength for himself, you know, he should have gained strength for his friends, and that, and that, and that, that was the main theme <clears throat> uh, of this episode, as the, as they all got stronger, you know, you know, they, they, uh, they, they all showed their individual personalities, and that's what Ward was was trying to do. He was, he was, he was getting strong for himself, but in reality, he was. He was what he was should have done was doing instead. He should have got stronger for for his friends, and that actually helped out. And he got his uh his um uh like tree magic, I believe, uh, from what I from what he said, his tree magic. And they, uh, to be honest, if I remember correctly, uh, tree magic is actually pretty powerful in the in the world of fairy tale. You know, like since trees are are really abundant in in the in the world of fairy tale right now, so. You know, tree magic would be like it would seem unstoppable, or at, not unstoppable, but at least um, it it will hold some high, high kind of high kind of degree right there. You know, even even uh, Zaref was at what kind of kind of glanced at him and just a little gave a little shoulder. Well, no, I guess that's a kind of impressive right there. Uh, but you know, but so far you know, in, in, I, when I was listening about uh, Precht actually, you know, he, all he was training was is just a uh, sh uh, shooting just like um. 
just laser beams out of his fingers. I'm assuming that that's that was his first magic, because uh, from what I remember in the earlier fairy tale episodes, <clears throat> Pract actually was um uh he had like a list of array of of magics and everything. So I'm assuming that um uh his chain magic that uh he previously had was 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 not gonna it's not gonna be involved in this. And so I'm assuming it's just just uh, the those laser those laser blasts are just gonna be um his main source of attack. But in all aspects of this episode, you know, you, you literally see that, you know, like this was the, this was more of a, a jump start episode, you know, like like oh guys, we gotta get stronger. Training. This is a training episode, you know. You know, go back in that hyperdolic time chamber and, and start training. But these guys did it in their own fashioned way, you know. But now, I love but I still love this episode, you know. This episode was actually uh, uh actually entertaining and seeing seeing how they're <clears throat> how they actually uh, gain gain strength through uh, knowledge of magic, and in a sense, they actually get, uh, gain stronger in a sense also mentally as well as um, now they're actually more mentally prepared to fight actual real people without without just charging head first. Too, because the way I see it, like these these guys are just like you know, oh guys, let's just go fight some evil bad guys, you know. Uh, no, no, with no idea knowing that these guys might actually know strong magic. But knowing, uh, knowing of uh, uh, like a lot of shonen man uh, manga, you know, that's just another stepping stone that they have to go. Over. But you know, like, let me let me know what you guys think about this episode. You know, you know, like, just um, uh, what do you guys th what do you guys think of the, of the training session that that went along? You know, uh, what what do you guys think of um, uh, of of Pract? Do you think uh, that like they, they should showcase uh, pra Pract a little more? You know, since like I'm, I'm, they didn't really show him that 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 much like throughout the episode. Or do you guys feel that uh, that uh, 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 Zora as well? You know, like they they actually um, in this episode she was even training as well, which by the way was um, was weird. I I thought it was like a another uh, hint that uh, Zora is dead. You know, she was, uh, her, her magic was fire, and I'm, like, here thinking, like, maybe that might mean that, like, you know, she's dead, because I remember, uh, Mavis pulled her out of a, a uh, like, uh, like, like a burnt place, you know, so I'm assuming that, like, that's another hint that she, she might have died, you know, like, since her magic is fire or something, but that's, some, that's, that's just, that's just right there, you know, another hint at the episode, that what the episode is trying to say, you know, and, but, uh, let me know what you guys think in the in the comments section below, you know, and, and if you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe, you know, and this is Mr. Zen, signing out.